all you passionate penny pinchers. This is Jamie standing in for Lori today and I am going to be making a really yummy recipe from the celebration menu series. This one is barbecue chicken French bread pizza and y'all I just know that my boys are going to love this because it's pizza right? And it's chicken and it's super super easy for us moms. Let me tell you why. You don't have to cook any chicken you just use a rotisserie chicken and a loaf of French bread, a barbecue sauce and spaghetti sauce, and some cheeses, some red onions. And we are just gonna put this thing together. I already put one in the oven so that we can do a whole cooking show um, moment at the end. But okay, step one. I have never made this before and I am only working on my first cup of coffee, so y'all be gracious with me here. Okay, preheat oven to 425, done. Cut French bread in half lengthwise, okay. Now, when I went to my Aldi at first, they only had the really, really skinny French bread baguettes, and I didn't get that one because it just looked too crusty. Um, so I went to Publix and they had this one. But I'm sure like all, all different, probably even like the French sub rolls would work just fine if you were doing individual sizes. What's great about this one is it is perfect to make for like a get together. You set them out on the baking sheet and then when they come out you can cut them into little bite sized pizza squares instead of handing someone an enormous, <laughs> an enormous French bread um, pizza. Okay, the baking sheet that I need you guys, it's already in the oven. The one I need to lay this on. So just pretend my countertop is the baking sheet. Okay, that was, I wish I could see your comments and stuff while I'm doing this, but my, my phone is up there on that tripod and I can't, I have to climb on my chair to see the back of it. Okay, step two. I misplaced my box. Look, I'm just gonna be real. I misplaced my celebration menu box this morning and so I'm using the PDF version of it to look up right now. Step two is in a small bowl combined spaghetti sauce and barbecue sauce. Okay, so I already have my small bowl. It says we need half a cup of spaghetti sauce and a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. Okay, half a cup spaghetti sauce. I don't know how Lori does this every morning. I am not a morning person. <laughs> so cooking in the morning is like a little bit rough for me, but at least this recipe is insanely easy. I'm just gonna eyeball a quarter cup. Okay, that looks good. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. I like it extra extra zingy. So if you want more barbecue sauce flavor and less spaghetti sauce flavor, you could alter your ratio a little bit there. And then you just mix it around. Okay, step three says Shred up your rotisserie chicken. And I've got a little bit of that done already, but we're gonna do some more. Just for any of you new cooks who aren't familiar with using a rotisserie chicken, it's always helpful to have a visual. So let's do that together. I know it's helpful for me to have a visual. I always like to ask Cherie or Lori how to do something when I'm not sure Okay, so I'm just going to cut off kind of a bre uh, breast hunk and then I'll tear that into pieces. I just want small pieces for my pizza so that it's little bite-sized pieces of chicken. Doesn't have to get too fancy. I don't know about you guys, but this weather has been so crazy lately, going from warm to cold and warm to cold, but it looks like it is going to be beautiful today. Yesterday was up to 65. It'll be a great day for the boys to come home from school and just have a, an easy breezy little French bread pizza for dinner. Oh, and I've got, oh, I'm going to have to show you the salad that I got to go with it. Looks super good. That's going to be an easy, easy, easy meal. Okay, so you can use as much chicken as you want. I think this is probably enough for me. Okay, maybe a little bit more. This is not this is not the easiest way to get chicken off, but I'm just being quick, quick and dirty. Okay, 
chicken done. Next step, it says to have half a cup of thinly sliced red onion. Well, I didn't want y'all to have to suffer through me slicing this red onion. So voila, through the magic of technology, I have already sliced up the onion. And then we need two cups of shredded mozzarella and a half a cup of shredded cheddar. So let me go get a little bit more cheese. Why did I not bring that upstairs with me? I don't know. Let me grab it. cheese. Now, so we want two cups mozzarella and half of a cup of cheddar. So I add a little bit more mozzarella to this cup that I was starting on. And now I don't have just regular cheddar, so I'm using a Mexican blend. Um, but I even thought, you know what else would be good is pepper jack. If you like spicy, pepper jack would be a good thing to mix with your mozzarella as well. Okay, so we have our cheese, we have our sauce, we have our onions, and we have our chicken. This is all we need to top our French bread pizza. So the next step says to spoon sauce over the half of the bread, divide chicken evenly with red onions. Okay, so let's do that step. My sauce is sort of mixed. Mix it a little bit more. Okay, I love barbecue sauce. You know, I was thinking this morning when I was looking over this recipe, if you don't like barbecue sauce, if you're not a fan, another good option for this one would be to use Alfredo sauce and have a white pizza. Because I have had a white barbecue chicken pizza before where the chicken was kind of barbecue flavored but the sauce was white. So that would be another yummy option. And here's another thought. If you don't have a rotisserie chicken available to you, like for instance, I went to Aldi. They don't have a rotisserie chicken at Aldi. I wish they would. That would be that would be such a good idea if they had that. But they did have those little grilled, like the bags of grilled chicken that you can use on a salad or something. And I thought, you know, that would be another substitute that you could totally use if you didn't have a rotisserie chicken. So just keep that in mind if you don't have, if you can only like run to save a lot or Aldi or something and rotisserie chicken is not there, that's an option. All right, try to get every bit. I want sauce in every bite. Okay. What is your all's favorite barbecue sauce? I almost got Sweet Baby Ray's, but it was, it was really expensive. It wasn't on sale, so I just got the Aldi version of it. But what kind do you guys like? I know everybody has their preference for sauces and ketchup and stuff like that. Okay. That looks pretty well covered. I'm gonna peek in here and see if my my test pizza is almost done. Oh, almost. Okay. Next step is chicken and red onions. <coughs> Excuse me. Now another topping you could totally add, and I might do this next time we make these is sliced mushrooms. If you are a fan of mushrooms, and I am a huge I love mushrooms, which is crazy because I'm such a picky eater. Everyone's always surprised when they find out I like mushrooms. But I would like mushrooms on this, I think. For sure. And then the red onions, you just kind of lay them out. I don't know, however many you like. I am not a big red onion fan, but I'll just pick mine off. Okay. I don't know, is that too many? Is that enough? For someone that doesn't like red onions, this looks like way too many, but if you're a big fan, this might look like you're not enough. Okay, and then we're gonna evenly distribute the chicken all over. I can't wait to pull that one out of the oven and see what it looks like. Oh, I have a confession. You're supposed to get cilantro to sprinkle on at the end and it makes it look beautiful and artisanal and I forgot my cilantro. It's just been a day. Forgot stuff and I lost stuff. And it's all gonna be okay though. Because you can't really screw up the pizza. We used to make French bread pizza when I was in Girl Scouts. And it was one of my favorite. And we would make it over the campfire wrapped in foil. And it was so good. 
Okay. That's probably, probably, I guess it just depends on how hungry your family is. If you want to fill them up, add tons of chicken. I've got teenage boys, so I do want to fill them up. Okay. Good enough. Now for the cheese, which is not mixed up. Why did I use a mesh? This was a silly idea. Why did I use a measuring cup instead of a bowl? Y'all, decisions were made before coffee this morning, and they weren't all good ones. Let's just put it that way. The Celebration Series is, in case you're not familiar, it has 12 weeks of meals in it, and they're all really, really yummy, like holiday and get-together um, worthy meals. So there's like a whole Easter recipe, so you don't have to think about what to make during Easter. There's... This one, which is like a vacation menu, so like easy meals you can make for your family when you're on vacation, staying in, you know, like a, an Airbnb or something, and you can't afford or you just don't want to go out and eat for every single meal because that's a hassle, just trying to get everybody to agree on a place and waiting at a vacation place to get a seat. That's just a hassle. So these are meals that would be perfect for spring break, for summer vacation with the family, just like crowd pleasers that are easy for you to throw together so that you're not slaving away and um, yummy 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 for everybody else and then you just grab a salad to serve with it I'll go grab that out of the downstairs fridge in a second and show you my salad. okay tidy 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 I am making a mess 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 okay so you heat your oven to 425 bake for 10 to 12 minutes until cheese is bubbly and then sprinkle cilantro over the top if desired so just Y'all just imagine that cilantro getting sprinkled because I forgot mine. Okay, let's see if the one we already made a little 15 minutes ago is ready. Woo! Woo, that looks yum. Okay, this could probably use another two minutes, but that's what it looks like when it's done. This is just a tester for you to see. Crusty French bread baguette pizza with the barbecue sauce and the rotisserie chicken and the red onions and then use your imagination I am sprinkling cilantro over the top and dinner is done you just serve with a salad just grab a, any kind of bag salad kit from the store and you are good to go I'm gonna put this one in now for my husband's lunch he is gonna be excited um, to have lunch made for him and that's it so this is from the celebration box I have linked to it above I will link to it below in the comments as well thank you guys so much for joining me this morning I hope you all have a beautiful day and um, get your menu plans done for the done for the week. Thank you. Um, I can't read any of your comments until I get off. Let me try to hit the off button on here. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, John. I'm Jane, I'm standing on my chair trying to finish this. Okay, got it.